Good morning, everybody. Uh, it's, gr it's a really great pleasure to have all of you here. You know, we heard some uh, thunder, uh, you know, the, the sky's grumbling and someone asked me, uh, you know, do we have a plan B? And, you know, as some of you know, I work in disasters, right? And I said, of course, we have a plan B. If it starts raining, you get up, you walk briskly, and there's a building over there that we're doing a ribbon cutting, you walk in there, and that's it. That's, that's plan B, so uh, get ready just in case. It's really a pleasure to welcome each and every one of you here today. We really appreciate your participation in this very, very important event, not only for the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley, but for the Rio Grande Valley itself, for the region, and for the state of Texas, and yes, for our nation as well. This is truly a historic event for our university. And so I want to thank all of you for being here, and especially I want to thank uh, our staff from Senator Chuy Hinojosa's office and from Representative Oscar Longoria's office. We appreciate you being here. Uh, this would not be possible today without the support of our Valley legislation, their strong commitment uh, to higher education, their strong commitment to the Rio Grande Valley, and to all of you, our students. So we are delighted that we have uh, representation from both offices, and we want to thank all of you for your strong support. As many of you may know, or some of you may know, the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley Mathematics and Science Academy was created during the 83rd Texas Legislative Session. Actually, Senate Bill 24 not only created the Mathematics and Science Academy, but it also created the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley. And so one of the things we wanted to do with the Mathematics and Science Academy is build on the rich history, culture, traditions, uh, and success of the Math and Science Academy that was at the University of Texas Brownsville, which is currently at the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley in Brownsville. They have had some great success stories in terms of their uh, active engagement with our students, and we really wanted to expand this success throughout uh, the Rio Grande Valley because, as many of you know, one of the core priorities for UTRGV is to expand educational opportunities and if there's any example that sort of reflects our commitment, our passion, our desire and work uh, to expand educational opportunities throughout the Rio Grande Valley, we are celebrating that moment here uh, today. And as many of you know, there is uh, throughout the country a national shortage of engineers, architects, mathematicians and scientists. In addition, more than half of science and engineering degree workers are 55 years or older. Of course, that excludes me. Uh, you know, and you know, about 80%, think about this, about 80% of the jobs in the near future will require science, technology, engineering, and mathematics skills, or STEM skills. And so we need to accelerate these learning opportunities for our students in the Rio Grande Valley. And if you think about that, in the Rio Grande Valley, where close to 90% of our population is Latino, Latina of Hispanic descent, one of the most rapidly growing population groups in the country, and we add to that, you know, these types of initiatives, the Mathematics and Science Academy, aiming to increase the education, the knowledge, the skills of our Latino and Latina students and other students throughout the Rio Grande Valley to have a significant impact on the growth uh, and uh, expansion and development of STEM disciplines. So clearly, this is a critical uh, initiative. Since 2009, the Mathematics and Science Academy has graduated 321 students. Over 69% of these students have graduated from our legacy institutions, particularly UT Brownsville, and roughly 30% have graduated from other universities across the country. One of the goals of the Mathematics and Science Academy is to develop the whole person in an environment where students enhance their knowledge, develop their imagination, explore new ideas, and make enduring partnerships and friendships. The Mathematics and Science Academy at the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley is more than anything about transforming the potential, your potential, our students' potential, into achievement into success. 
This is truly an award-winning program that provides a path for high school students gifted in math and science to foster their talents through unparalleled learning opportunities. This is what the Mathematics and Science Academy is about. As I said before, this new facility was possible due to the hard work, the commitment, and the generosity of Texas legislators, generally speaking, and more importantly, our valley legislation here in the Rio Grande Valley. One million dollars was awarded uh, to expand the Math Mathematics and Science Academy to the uh, Edinburgh campus. One million dollars to do this initiative. That speaks of the commitment of our legislators, our government officials, our community leaders to make this a success. With this special funding, the facility was redesigned to accommodate 200 students. That facility, that facility <laughs> over there. Uh, to accommodate 200 students, provide classroom space, tutoring room, and a study lounge for the students. Textbooks, laptops, and other instructional supplies have been purchased to ensure that our students have the resources to enable them to be successful as UTRGV students. And of course, we would like 100% of these students to come to the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley, but more importantly, we want all these students, wherever they decide to go, wherever, whatever place they choose uh, as their higher education degree to uh, complete their degree, that is what we want. To, for them to further their education, to have an impact in your communities, have an impact throughout the Rio Grande Valley. Uh, this building, you know, for those of you, you know, particularly our colleagues, our administrators from the College of uh, Sciences and, and others, you know that in a college campus, to try to get one little office space to accommodate one program is sort of a major deal. I mean, it's almost impossible, right? And I remember uh, probably over a year ago when we knew that the funding was made possible for the Mass and Science Academy, uh, Dr. Parwinder Grewal, uh, Marty Baylor, our Executive Vice President for Finance and Administration at that time, and Marta Salinas Hovar, we, you know, we, we toured the campus. We walked from uh, building to building. We walked all over the place. And we looked at several locations and we just couldn't find a space for the Mathematics and Science Academy. Everything was occupied. There was really no space. And I remember one day sitting in my office here in this building, Marty Baylor came to me and said, Avidan, we found the perfect location for the Mathematics and Science Academy. And I said, what do you mean you found the perfect location? He said, I have the location. And I said, where is it? He said, I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to take you. And so we came down from our offices and walked into this building, and I couldn't believe it. I said it was impossible to get a small office anywhere around campus. Think about getting a full building in this wonderful location for the Mathematics and Science Academy. That speaks very strongly of the commitment, the vision, and the hard work of President Guy Bailey, our president at the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley, who when we presented this uh, project to him, he said, absolutely, we have to make this happen. In order to accomplish great things, you need great leaders. In order to move the university forward, you need visionary leaders. And we're so happy and delighted that we have a great and visionary leader in Dr. Guy Bailey, our president, who senses regrets because he is now in Austin and can't be here with us. But uh, if it were not for Dr. Guy Bailey and the strong support of Texas legislator and the Texas legislation uh, la leaders, uh, this would not happen, right? And so now we're going to inaugurate this wonderful building thanks to the support of all these individuals. So once again, I want to express my sincere appreciation to the commitment of the state, Texas legislators, and our local legislators, our Valley dele delegation, in helping us secure this funding. I want to thank our Dean of the College of Sciences, uh, Science, Dr. Parwinder Grewal. He's also traveling and couldn't be here, uh, but his leadership and his vision for the college is moving us forward and it's moving us in the right direction. I want to thank uh, Veronica Gonzalez and her staff because uh, it took a lot of emails and back and forth and her working in the legislature and with our legislators uh, to secure these, fun these funds. So Veronica, thank you and to your staff. I want to thank uh, Marty Baylor who's no longer with us, he retired.
Okay, don't get me wrong. He retired, right? So he's no longer at UTRDB. And our current uh, Executive Vice President for Finance and Administration, uh, Rick Anderson, Marta Salinas Hovar and her staff have done excellent and great work in making this happen as they always do. Uh, these folks just do wonderful, beautiful projects in such a timely manner. So to all the staff and facilities and all of you that work so incredibly hard to make that happen, thank you. Thank you very much. I also want to thank uh, Dr. Wilma Smetter, our principal. You know, when we talked to Wilma and we said, you know, we want to continue with this project, she brought the project to us, we had the conversation, and you know, she said, we're going to make it happen. And so she rapidly engaged, she said, we need a proposal. She said, I'll make it happen. We need this, we need a budget. She made it happen. And so we're delighted that she's a principal here for the Mathematics and Science Academy for the University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Literally, she knows what it means to be one university distributed throughout the Rio Grande Valley. So uh, Wilma, uh, thank you uh, very much. Uh, and you know, and I want to thank the leadership and the College of Science. Uh, you know, your work is, is incredible in making this initiative happen and your commitment in this process uh, is greatly appreciated. And all our academic leaders who are here today, from uh, the Vice President for Student Success, our Deputy Provost, our Vice uh, Provost for, uh, for Faculty and Diversity, to all of you, uh, thank you for being here. Uh, you know, it is true that it takes a community, it takes a village. Uh, our Dean for the Graduate College is also here. So thank Thanks to all of you uh, for being here. Uh, and uh, we also have the research office and uh, advancement and community engagement. So thanks to all of you. Uh, it's really a pleasure to have you here. But more importantly, sorry folks, more importantly, I want to thank our students. I want to thank the students that now form part of the Mathematics and Science Academy. You know, we have now 111 Mathematics and Science Academy students in the Brownsville campus and 52 students in the Edinburgh campus. So I want to congratulate all the students for being selected to be part of this wonderful uh, program, to be w part of this uh, wonderful institution. Uh, you know, it's a huge commitment. It's a lot of work. Uh, it's a lot of engagement, but you've earned it. You're here because you have earned it. And you are here because we know, we trust, we are convinced, absolutely convinced, that you will be successful. So this is another step in the process to keep you moving along this direction. You know, we want you, uh, not to put any pressure on you, we want you to become role models. We want you to become role models for other students, such as yourself, right, uh, to share these experiences. We need to continue to expand and enhance education throughout the Rio Grande Valley and beyond. And you today are playing a critical and a very important role in this process. And so as we move together, we challenge you to continue to be successful. We know you're going to be successful at the Mathematics and Science Academy. We know you're going to college. Wherever you go, as I said before, we hope it is UTRGB, but wherever you go, go where you think that it is best for you, for your growth, for your development, for your professional accomplishments, and then continue to have that impact. Be a model for other students. Take that challenge, seize the opportunity, and make things happen for the Rio Grande Valley, for the state, and for the country. We trust, we know, we are absolutely confident that you will be successful. So once again, I want to thank all of you for being here. It is certainly a pleasure to be with you in this historic moment for the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley and the Mathematics and Science Academy. And now I would like to introduce our principal, Wilma Smetter. This is for you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Okay. I just have a few words. Our fantastic students represent 14 high schools from the Upper Valley. They travel from as far away as Westlaco, Elsa, and La Jolla. They plan to be scientists, engineers, mathematicians, and medical doctors. Students at the Mathematics and Science Academy take classes from UTRGV's exceptional faculty alongside UTRGV students, but with a heightened level of supervision and guidance than the traditional university students. We are most thankful to the MSA parents, Dr. Bailey, 
Dr. Rodriguez, and our Dean, Dr. Graywall, for their never-ending support of the Mathematics and Science Academy. Our students are the best of the best in South Texas, and we could not be prouder of them as they embark on their university journey with us at UTRGV. One of our students will speak on behalf of all our students. They all would love to talk to you, uh, but Andrea Morrison has a few words for you. Andrea? Hello, everybody, and welcome to the opening ceremony of the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley's very own Mathematics and Science Academy here in Edinburgh. My name is Andrea Morrison, and I am proud to state that I am among the first high school juniors to be enrolled as a full-time student in this university. To begin, I would like to share my class's insight into this academy with a piece of literature. In The Road Not Taken by Robert Frost, he began, Two roads diverged in the yellow wood, and sorry I could not travel both. And be one traveler, long I stood, and looked down one as far as I could. Then, as he wraps up this poem, he says, I shall be telling this with a sigh, somewhere ages and ages hence. Two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. In the beginning of 2016, all of us were presented with two roads to travel on, one being the one where we would, had, we would have remained in our previous schools, and the other being the one where we joined this academy. Each of us contemplated this decision through many perspectives. What about the friendships I have formed all these years? How would my education change? What about prom? Will it be too hard? We all looked down each choice as far as we could to see what would lie ahead in the future. Unfortunately, we could not pick both paths to follow through with but deep down, we all knew which one was the best for us. Now, although ages have not passed by, we have already spent about three months taking the road less traveled by because there are not many teenagers who would trade their normal high schools for an even greater opportunity to succeed in their education. My fellow peers have shared their experiences in the MSA so far by stating that it has developed a higher level of responsibility in each of us, improved the instruction that we were accustomed to, and provided us with opportunities to communicate with different people to form new and unique friendships. On behalf of the Mathematics and Science Academy's graduating class of 2018, I would like to thank our staff, which includes Dr. Smetter, Ms. Montes, and Ms. Marroquin, and our, our support staff for supporting us and guiding us in the right direction for these, these past few weeks. Also, thank you to all of our tutors who help us conquer each and every single homework quiz or exam that we are given. And thank you to everyone who contributed and even giving us a chance to make this life-changing decision, including Dr. Bailey, Dr. Rodriguez, and Dr. Parwinder Grewa, our Dean for the College of Sciences, and everyone else who is here. We are excited to see where this decision will take us and to show you all that the Mathematics and Science Academy was worth bringing to Edinburgh. Each of us took the road less traveled by, and that has made and will make all the difference. Thank you. So on behalf of our students, our staff, we invite you to our ribbon cutting and a tour of our new building. <laughs> so excited. And, and I really want to thank Mrs. Ms. Salinas, uh, Martha Salinas Hover and her staff. The gentlemen are here. Uh, Dago and George and Carlos when I would walk walk the building I said I'm coming to Edinburgh okay we would meet here this and this and within days things were taken care of so we cannot thank them enough and gentlemen thank you so much for being here and Miss Salinas Hovar here uh, really oh really appreciate everything you've done for us uh, we have refreshments in our building and please uh, join us in our conference room Dr. Rodriguez if you would we have some students that will do a ribbon cutting with you Thank you so much. And Delin Reese, where is Delin? Delin, organization, always beautiful. Thank you so much for taking care of everything today. Certainly appreciate it. Thank you so much for being here. Please come and join us.